This video is about motorbikes in Vietnam and how to buy motorbikes in Vietnam, especially the old ones. Many visitors come to Vietnam and then they buy motorbike for traveling a few days and then they resell it to another person. It will help them to save money instead of renting another one. However, most of them will be in trouble with purchasing a motorbike because Vietnam is different from Western countries. Vietnamese classify motorbikes into three common types, semi-automatic, automatic and manual motorbikes. Like its name, manual motorbike is the one that when you change its motor number, it just needs to step and squeeze its clutch at the same time. It's like a brake. With semi-automatic motorbikes, you just need to step on the clutch without squeezing it. Automatic motorbikes are also known as motor scooters. When you change your speed, it will automatically change its motor numbers. A semi-automatic motorbike is smaller and harder to train, therefore it's not simple to westerners. Scooters are automatic motorbikes and you can easily track them even if you have never ever driven one before. It's even more easier to train than a bicycle and more suitable to westerners because you'll feel comfortable when sitting on it especially when you have to drive on a long road. It has bigger trunk than other kinds, at least it can contain a helmet. Scooters are in action, sounding broken, however, because of its plastic materials, it's kind of difficult for mechanics to repair. Vietnamese think that scorers may consume much fuel. You can see that when you drive in cities, you have to fill petrol many times, but it's not true with a long road. We recommend that scorers should be used by visitors, especially by women or by someone who doesn't know much how to drive. Model scorers in Vietnam are expensive. Some new ones are from $1,500 to $4,000. The brand of the scooter will show your social standards. However, you should know that there are some kinds of very cheap motorbikes because they are very old and out of fashion. For example, Nova Verb Yamaha. A Nova version true made in 2006 is about $200, and the one in version 3 manufactured in 2008 is about $300. These two versions are nearly the same except for their headlights. The one in version 2 has two headlights but is not popular. Meanwhile, the one in version 3 has only one headlight but is usually used for rents. Novels are supposed to consume lots of petrol, noisy but rarely broken. Manual motorbikes are not common in Vietnam, they are hard to control. When you need to change its number, you have to pull its clutch. In action, it looks sporty and appropriately goes on up roads. Not many Vietnamese in cities choose this kind of vehicle. Instead, they often appear in mountainous areas and in the countryside. They are suitable to professional drivers to off-roads and can be sometimes used for climbing slopes. However, they may be sometimes in a trip out of order but can be easily disassembled and repaired. Many visitors come into Vietnam like to use Win, which is particularly manufactured for Southeast Asia markets, but local people don't like it anymore. 
Once upon a have high quality with the price of seven hundred dollars for an old one. Most of visitors unluckily buy the fake ones made in China. They look the same as the real one, but don't have the word Honda. They are cheaper from two hundred dollars to three hundred dollars for each. You may get into troubles with the fake ones on the road, and unfortunately, if there's no shops or garage to repair yours. When you buy an old motorbike in Vietnam, make sure that the owner gives you the full card, which is the most important card of the motorbike, because it will prove that you are the owner of that motorbike. If you don't have this card, you can hardly resell it to another person or resell with a very low price. Vietnamese have many trends in purchasing old motorbikes. The solo ones a high price, meanwhile the buyer ones is very low. Foreigners don't speak Vietnamese, don't know much about Vietnamese culture and pricing. Therefore, they may lose much when purchases motorbikes in Vietnam. We should think that you should only buy motorbikes with the price that we'll show you here. And in fact, the prices depend on their quality. When you test one and its engine is not noisy, other parts work properly and still new. If spray may be higher than our suggestions, remember that we just suggest you about the price of the old ones, therefore there's no fixed price here. But it depends on the agreement between two sides. When Vietnamese sell motorbikes, they will try to complement theirs, but when they buy them, they will try to fight faults. You can purchase motorbikes near your hotels or at motorbikes renting stores for foreigners. In Hanuk, we have a market of our motorbikes. It's located at Chua Street, Gose District. And in Saigon, you should come to 427 Chung Ching, Ward 14, Tanmi District. It's near the airport. Buying motorbikes from the ones who want to resell may be the best choice in order not to be cheated. We we'll create a forum of purchasing motorbikes in Vietnam for foreigners in the near future. That's all about motorbikes in Vietnam I'd like to share with you today. Thanks and see you later.